Well, isn't this interesting? Tesla has announced production, manufacturing of a new kind of solar panel in the United States. I've got to say, it actually looks really cool. It's not the kind of product where you'd go, ah, oh, look at your roof, doesn't look good. One of the big differences is that this solar panel kind of doesn't look like a solar panel. Tesla have announced it has started to produce its own new solar panels at its Gigafactory in New York, in Buffalo. Now, a lot of people forget the fact that, honestly, I forget that they even have that factory in New York. And the first deliveries, though, are scheduled to arrive in the first quarter of 2026. After years of kind of putting its solar panel business to the side and sort of doing nothing with it, everything appears to have suddenly changed. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I have solar panels on my house. In fact, I've got um, 56 panels on my house, and that provides me about 26 kilowatt of power. And now that I've got two batteries, I've got two anchor batteries, uh, a total of 50 kilowatt hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries from anchor, I am energy independent. I don't need energy from the grid really at all. I mean, there might be extreme cases when I might use some, but I don't actually need it. So I'm a huge fan of solar panels. Guys, I'm with PowerShop for my EV charging electricity plan. You can get a $100 credit on your electricity bill. Plus, if you sign up with my referral link in the description below, you'll get an additional, that's $175 of credit to sign up to PowerShop. I use the EV day saver plan. And the reason is because for those two hours from 12 till 2 p.m. in the day, you get electricity completely free. So yeah, two hours a day, it's probably going to cover your electricity bills for your EV every day. Basically, you can charge your, free, your EV for free on this plan. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, Tesla has relaunched its solar leasing product. And during Tesla's Q3 conference call yesterday, Mike Snyder, Tesla's VP of Energy and Charging, said... A surge in residential solar demand was due to policy changes. And there has been a surge in solar use and demand in the United States over the past 12 months. We've seen a surge in residential solar demand in the US due to policy changes, which we expect to continue into the first half of 2026 as we introduce a new solar lease product. Now, he's talking about the Trump administration potentially killing the 30% tax credit for residential solar at the end of the year. Snyder said that Tesla is building a new solar panel in the US. He said this, we began production of our Tesla residential solar panel in our Buffalo factory, and we'll be shipping that to customers starting in the first quarter of 2026. The panel has industry leading aesthetics, it does look good, and shade performance, and demonstrates a continued commitment to US manufacturing. So shade performance is really important because a lot of people, when you get a solar panels on your roof, if there's some shading, the entire roof won't work. And then you need micro inverters for each panel and that can be expensive. And But there's some newer solar technology out there. And I don't know if Tesla has this feature, but it might, where you don't need the micro inverters for every panel. The individual panel, right? If you cover half of an individual panel with shade, the other half of that panel will still work. So that's the new tech. And I've seen Longy, Longy in China, I have actually Longy solar panels on my roof, but their new panels actually do that. So they still work really well when half of an individual panel is shaded. The rest of the panel works very, very well. Tesla has said it had its own solar panels and Panasonic briefly manufactured them at Tesla's Gigafactory in New York and Buffalo. Tesla also have rebranded panels made by South Korea's Hanwha, but Tesla upgraded the specs of its solar panels on its website. So here's what they are. They're 410 watts and they have a 25-year performance guarantee warranty. So 25-year warranty. The specs do appear that, to be honest, it does appear that they are Hanwha Q cells that have been rebranded. And now it's possible, but to be honest, the panels do look, look a little different to Hanwha's panels. So maybe um, Tesla have sort of used that tech to create their new solar panels. Now guys, remember when back when um, Tesla, they made those solar tiles for roofs and the solar tiles were meant to work like solar panels, but you still have a house that looked like a normal house that was had tiles. So they were glass individual tiles. Well, Tesla sort of like put that on the side and it appears as though this is now their, their main priority. 
So I'm not really sure about any more details on these solar panels, but it's kind of encouraging to see Tesla doing solar panels. And I personally couldn't care less if they make money from this because I just want more solar on roofs. I think we can get rid of gas and coal if we put more solar on houses, on our houses. We can become energy independent, get our own batteries, get our own solar panels. So I think for me, this is really personally exciting. And I'm, I'm, I'm very keen to see this succeed, not in terms of Tesla making money from it, but just, just to see more people in the US put solar on their own homes. Thanks for watching. Tesla has just launched its solar and power wall lease program. This could be a good idea. Now here in Australia, I know Resync Solar, the company who installed my battery at my solar panels, they also do a similar program where you can essentially rent your solar. And that can be really good for a lot of homeowners to reduce their bills. But Tesla has introduced a major new financing option designed to make its solar and home battery systems more accessible than ever before. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to our newsletter, make sure you do so. I'll put a link in the description below. You're not gonna see most of our videos on YouTube. They're just not gonna be shown in your feed otherwise. Tesla has introduced a major new financing option. I think this is a good idea. They've officially launched a new lease program in the United States that bundles solar panels and a power battery system together for what Tesla says is its lowest monthly payment. Not a Tesla app says that this addresses the largest hurdle for many homeowners considering a switch to solar or home backup, which is the high upfront cost. And it's true, there is a high upfront cost. So being able to not have to pay that high upfront cost is a really good idea. The new lease program has an upfront cost of only 600 US dollars. By shifting the financial model from a large capital purchase that pays for itself over a decade or more to a manageable monthly lease payment, Tesla significantly lowers the barriers of entry. And Tesla does something else, which is very interesting. I'll get to that in a minute. This is a very smart move from Tesla, and I don't think people realize what's actually really happening here. Beyond their lower initial cost, the new lease program includes a 95% system availability guarantee that remains in effect for the entire term of the lease. If the system's availability drops below 95%, customers will be eligible for a credit. Why would the system not be, not be working all the time? I mean, 95%. Why are Tesla using it for 5% of the time? Yeah, <laughs> you can see what's going on here, can't you? The lease covers all included maintenance for the solar panels and power wall, which includes inverters and batteries, two common items that may need to be replaced during the system's life. 